Good evening. My name is Helen, Helen Yuan, and I am the coordinator of USC EdMonth. On behalf of Program Board and EdMonth, it is my pleasure to welcome you here tonight. EdMonth is a grassroots movement of college students to open dialogue about the state of education in the US. We hope to engage students about this topic through looking at the effects of policy, race and ethnicity, global technology, and the arts. Our formal end month will be the first two weeks of March. But frankly, if Jeffrey Canada happens to come to your campus in September, then September is end month. We are thrilled to welcome him and Mr. Druckenmiller. During our first two years of end month, we've showcased the work and solutions of leaders in educational reform, including Wendy Kopp of Teach for America, John Daisy from LAUSD, former mayor of Los Angeles, leaders of the charter movement, and public school educators. From those discussions, we activate students to become change agents for educational reform. Here's a message from one of our guests from this past Ed Month. Hello, Jeff and Stan. I am sorry I cannot be there to hang out with you all today and to honor the great work that you're doing, but I wanted to send you love and appreciation for everything you've done. Uh, I've been able to spend a lot of time with Jeff uh, over the years. We uh, went around the country and talked about a movie called Waiting for Superman. We've talked to countless crowds around the country uh, and around the, uh, around the world, telling them how important it is for our education system to be reformed. And I've personally seen the great work that Harlem Children's Zone has done in New York City. Uh, I'm so grateful as a uh, part-time New York resident and uh, someone who's been there for about 13 years to uh, know that there's someone in, in my city who cares so much about the community and is doing so much to change education for the city and then to spread that message around the world. So thank you for all the great work you're doing. Keep up the great work and let me know if you need anything else from me because I'm always there to help. Thanks to Mr. Legend for coming to Ed Month and for being an advocate for educational fairness. It is my pleasure to welcome and introduce our moderator and host for tonight, Professor David Belasco. He's been our partner and faculty advisor on Ed Month since the beginning and has helped bring many of the people I mentioned to USC. Professor Belasco currently serves as the co-director for the Lloyd Greif Center for Entrepreneurial Studies at USC. But many of you may know him from his class, The Leap, which is among the largest and most popular at this university. If you haven't taken it, you should. Please welcome Professor David Belasco. Thank you, thank you. It's great to be here. Thanks, Helen. It's an honor and a blast to work with you and the other student leaders on Ed Month. In just two years, you've built something very, very special and made a huge impact. What a great night to be at USC, huh? What a great night. Um, as Helen said, my name is Dave Belasco. I'm the co-director of the Gripe Center for Entrepreneurial Studies at USC's Marshall School of Business, and along with Dean Jim Ellis uh, and my co-director, Helena Ilyrenko, it's our pleasure to welcome you to this important discussion on generational equity. Quick commercial for the Gripe Center. Our mission is to train tomorrow's entrepreneurs, innovators, and leaders by teaching them the skill set and the mindset to impact the world. We've been doing it since 1971, and just this past week, US News and World Report ranked the Greif Center as the number two entrepreneurial program in the country. Tonight is part of our grand plan to extend entrepreneurship across campus, across Los Angeles, and across all fields, including education. And if you try and tell me that what teachers do and what Jeffrey Canada has done in Harlem is not entrepreneurship, you'll get a very, very big fight from me. Quick programming note for those at USC. Our next event is here in Bovard on October 14th as we welcome USC graduate Craig Pollard and his college friend Phil Werrell, Will Farrell, Will Farrell coming on October 14th. Be here and bring your green hat.
those who know, know. All right, getting a little more serious. Tonight's discussion is about the future of our country and the impact on college students and education. I looked at the, uh, the RSVPs, and it is a who's who of education in Los Angeles. If I mention you, please stand and remain standing so we can see who's here and hold your applause to the end. Dean Karen Gallagher, the dean of USC's Ross Sear School of Education, please stand, Dean Gallagher. Please, the house lights, please. Um, Faculty from USC, please stand. Leaders from UCLA, LMU, David Dwyer from USC Hybrid High, Lida Jennings and everyone from Teach for America, please stand. Leaders from KIPP, Green Dot, Camino Nuevo, Valor, Equitas, please. Everyone who teaches or is in education, please stand and let us show our appreciation for what you do. And joining us at the reception, but he had to leave, is the, uh, the superintendent of the second largest school district in the country. Uh, let's please say thank you to LA, LAUSD Superintendent John Dacey. John. All right, all right. Don't worry, finance and business people. Don't worry, we've got plenty for you too. It's not only education. Let's start that with Stanley Druckenmiller the retired chairman and founder of Duquesne Capital. Mention his name to any hedge fund manager or private equity investor, and they speak in hushed, reverent tones. They almost whisper, Stanley Druckenmiller? His, his vision and results over 30 years speak for themselves. But don't worry, we'll ask him how he did it. When he retired from Duquesne Capital in 2010, his firm managed in excess of $12 billion. Yes, he is on that list of that magazine as one of the wealthiest people in the United States. And he would be even higher on that list if he didn't donate and reinvest so much in others. His success is legendary, but so is his generosity. And Stan teamed up with Jeffrey Canada, champion of the Harlem Children's Zone, which has transformed the education and lives of thousands and thousands of people in Harlem. His approach and results have been lauded by education reformers, parents, school districts, politicians, even Oprah Winfrey. President Obama described the Harlem Children's Zone as, quote, an all-encompassing, all-hands-on-deck, anti-poverty effort that is literally saving a generation of children, unquote. It is awe-inspiring what they're doing. I have been stalking, I mean chasing and inviting Jeffrey Canada to USC for years. To get one of these gentlemen is rare. To get both of them is just plain lucky. They are outliers among outliers. This is a unique partnership and friendship. Jeff is the CEO and Stan is the chairman of the board of the Harlem Children's Zone. They have done this together. Let's take a look at Jeff and Stan's work at the Harlem Children's Zone. What had happened in Central Harlem was failure became the norm. The schools were lousy, the health care was lousy, gangs were prevalent, violence was all over, families were falling apart. You can't raise children in a community like that. People had been talking about things, but not doing anything. Okay, how are I'm you? doing great. How about you? Right here on 119th Street. If we could fix this block, then we could fix the next block, then we could fix the next block. We promise parents, if your child stays with us, I guarantee you that child is going to graduate from college. Failure is simply not an option. 60 to 70 to 80 to 97 blocks, which ends up being 10,000 children. <laughs> we start with children from birth and stay with those children children until they graduate. Like that. If you really want to have an impact that is large, you'll get there going one step at a time. There is no act that is too small to make a difference. No matter what you want to do, Members Project from American Express can help you take the first step. Vote, volunteer, or donate at TakePart.com.